Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's my Honda 200S 1984 model. I got a request from a subscriber who wants to know the speedometer, how it's wired up. So that's going to be the base of this video. Okay, but this is a official Honda line speedometer with the orange line around them. Most of them are black. This one is the one with the orange. And it connects to the front forks via a bracket that you simply unscrew or excuse me unbolt this take it out put the bracket on here it's got these teeth to keep it from moving even if it is one bolt it won't move to those little lip things that sit down there so it's pretty sturdy if anything's going to move it's going to be the speedometer so bolt on right there the wire this is the little internal light wire. You can just pull in and out with a little bit of force, but it's got a seal on it, a little rubber piece. We'll get to that in a second. This is the actual wire for the speedometer part. This other part's not required. You're probably gonna want this wired up though, as long as you want your speed. It hooks into the fender, a little point. This little grommet goes in. Let's see if I can get you a good view. It goes in like, that's it right there. And it pops in, you put that end on there, and it, it doesn't come out. It keeps that cable in check. And then coming down here, you put on this small bracket that comes with it. It's just one screw, you just slip it around the shock. Then you come over here and you're gonna plug this in, tighten that screw, and then you're wired up to go. This speedometer is also bolted to the bracket with two 10 millimeter bolts, I believe they are. Now this one, the little rubber thing did break off and it's just rubber so it will break off eventually. The metal just ends right there. So if I took a hacksaw and just cut a little thing in there, you take a flathead screwdriver and reset it. This almost has 2,000 miles on it. The white digit is a decimal, so it's 1,849.4. And I put 12.8 miles on it last time I rode it. It goes up to 70 miles an hour, and I really hope that you don't reach that because I don't know if I'd want to go 70 miles an hour on this. 55 is scary enough. Stock. Now, if you do want the light wired up, I guess for night riding, and it only comes on when you turn the light switch on, you're going to follow, once you plug it in, you're going to follow the wire down, and it hooks into the assembly in the headlight. Now, you just plug it in there. It's very simple. But I never used the light, mine burnt out, and I've just, I've never needed it because I'm not going to need my speed at nighttime. I'm not going to be zooming up and down the road at 10 o'clock when I can't see anything because that's not very smart to do, especially on a three-wheeler. Plus, the main thing is that it bolts on here with one bolt, two bolts under here, and two screws down here to help hold it in in this grommet thing. So you could do it very minimally. Now the problem is this speedometer costs about $300. I think my dad bought it back in the day for around 150 and then we still got the original box and paperwork with it. But if you can find one, they're probably going to cost you around $300, or so you're going to have to be prepared to pay that. But if you really have to know your speed, I would get a phone speed, like a handlebar phone attachment. It sits right here, and you can just bracket your phone in there and get a speedometer app. If you want it to be spot on, which I assume this is, you might want to do this, or if you want to make it look like an all original Honda, it definitely looks better. It looks natural. They're pretty rare, so it's pretty cool if you've got one of these. That's just a little info for you on there. It's pretty sturdy. It, it doesn't come off. I've ridden this thing hundreds of miles through every type of terrain available for a ATV to go on, and there's nothing that'll stop it. It'll stay on there forever. So, yeah, there it is. If this helped you out, please leave a like. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you, hopefully within the same day. Uh, peace out. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.